welcome to Intermediate Level English Language Arts. Hi guys, welcome to English Language Arts. And today our topic would be writing a description, right? So, uh, a descriptive composition is a written work that describes something to paint a vivid picture, a clear picture. Detailed the experience is seen, felt, heard, tasted, and smelled. Okay? So, this is a descriptive composition. Right? You're going to try to paint a vivid picture, right? And tell the different experiences seen, felt, heard, tasted, and smelled. Okay. So, uh, for your pre-write, right? You guys are going to be doing like this, something like this. And what you're going to be doing is you have to first think of anything that you'd like to describe. It may be an animal you find interesting, or a view you want, you saw once, or an adventure you've experienced. Recall the different things you saw, you smelled, you heard, you tasted, and you felt. List them down. Right? Things I've seen, things I've heard, things I've felt, things I've tasted, things I've smelled. Okay? Right? So it could be anything, anything interesting. Right? Now, for your draft, right? I want you guys to write one paragraph about your chosen topic. Write three or more senses you've experienced. Right? So it could be sense of touch, taste, right? Sense of, uh, uh, sense of hearing, sense of smelling. All of those things right i have i want you guys to at least use three or more senses that you've experienced right and i want you guys to use five different kinds of adjectives to best describe it so we already discussed five different the ten different kinds of adjectives choose five of them and use them all right use five okay so that means you have to really think of the thing that you're going to be talking about you have to be describing so they should have to have at least three of your senses being used and five different kinds of adjectives to best describe it here's an example this is uh, what i chose uh, i'm describing what i experienced when i went to hong kong so here's the composition hong kong was the first country i've ever visited the whole trip was very exciting and full of fun and new experiences my top priority back then was to really experience the food here so when i got there i tasted a lot of different delicious food the sweet and salty flavors really made my tongue happy along with the meaty uh, smell of the noodles with a really good brown broth and the different street food being fried. All were very fun experiences. The sights were really beautiful too. The huge city uh, looks very alive and modern. When we got there, it was rainy, so the climate was cool and really nice. Although we did not get to visit some old but famous sites, we got to see a lot of relatively new places like Ocean Park and Disneyland. So, here, right? Um, that is what you do or that is what you what you uh think of right now when you're done with your uh draft right when you've already done your draft what will you do go to revise and look at the um sentence here so uh go with the revised checklist right is my topic sentence clear do i need to add more details do i need to delete some details that do not belong are there sentences that I need to transfer? Is there coherence in my paragraph? Do all my subjects and verbs agree? Okay. So when you're done with that, go to edit and check for errors in punctuation marks, spelling errors, indentions, and grammar mistakes. Okay. Now, once you're done with that, go to publish. Write the paragraph to describe a person, a thing, or place in your notebooks or a sheet of pad paper. Anything that catches your attention. Make sure that you use adjectives that would paint a vivid picture of it. Describe it using at least three of your senses. Right? feeling, tasting, hearing, smelling, and seeing, and use five different kinds of adjectives. That's the opinion, size, physical quality, shape, color, age, uh, material, origin, type, and purpose. Okay? Uh, write descriptive paragraph as an activity title, and the title of your work must be the one you are describing. Okay? And that pretty much ends our topic for writing a description.